Hello, this is IDT and welcome to another video. So with Ryzen CPUs 3, 5 and 7, AMD made it really easy to overclock them. That's why I'm here to show you how to do it in a really easy method. So first of all, you will need two applications that are AMD Ryzen Master Utility, an app that will let you overclock in a few steps and Cinebench that we will be using to test if our overclock works as it should. Keep in mind you will need to have B350 or X370 motherboards. The A320 motherboards do not allow you to overclock even if your CPU is unlocked. Ok, after you have both apps, first of all test your CPU score through Cinebench by pressing on the top left corner. Make sure you are pressing on CPU, not OpenGL, because one tests your CPU and the other tests your graphics card. I'm going to write my scores on a note. Now it will not be exactly what you will be getting with Ryzen 15X as me, because I'm recording at the same time and that makes a lot of performance, so don't mind the scores. What matters is that the score that adds to the original one. So how exactly overclocking works? CPU manufacturers makes them with lower voltage than they actually can handle, so that it won't overheat in any case. So with higher voltage there is more heat, but with higher voltage you can add more speed to it. So you have to find a balance that fits just right for you. Now with stock cooler I really don't recommend you to go higher than 1.4 voltage and that is really a lot already. It is not recommended to have it running all day at that with high temperatures. Now I know from my testings that I can freely use 1.3 voltage. Keep in mind my fans are at 100% all the time and I'm using the stock cooler that comes with my CPU because it's good and most of Ryzen CPUs can overclock to 3.8 to 4 GHz with stock cooler. But really don't take my word for it, because every CPU you buy you are attending in a silicon lottery and the overclocking capabilities of your CPU will depend on it. So after testing 1.3 voltage and 3.6 GHz it didn't crash. Now what? That means you can add a 50 more to it. Now I suggest you to add always by 50 because when you get in around 3.8 GHz it will be harder to overclock so that you will know exactly when it crashed and when you need to bump up your voltage a bit. I suggest you to click two times on an arrow up that is 0.0125 voltage. Test it again, if it crashes add two clicks again. If you add a lot of voltage and it still does not work and it crashes, that means you've hit your barrier and that is the silicon lottery. You can add as much as you want of voltage, it will still not overclock. The max temperatures for CPU needs to be under 75 as you add voltage. For me the barrier on my 1500X and B350 motherboard was 1.3625 voltage with 3.9 GHz. So yeah that was basically it, it's pretty easy and straightforward. You add voltage, try to keep temperatures under 75 Celsius and test the max megahertz that voltage can handle. If it crashes you add a little more. If you liked the video please consider subscribing and maybe check out my other videos. Tell me in the comments below what was your experience overclocking. I would love to hear it from you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.